special announcements. Happy Tuesday and hello, Sycamore. We are Sycamore, well, I am Sycamore Airways crew today. I'm Jameson, and I'm back. One day of map testing down, one more day to go. Stay focused, work hard, study your notes, do your homework, and be an active listener in every classroom, every sport, every club, and every activity you do. Soar with Sycamore pride and with PBIS expectations. Remember, be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and be a creative problem solver. Now it's time to be PBIS respectful and stay with our fellow aviators as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. What we have for clubs and activities announcements. New, any 8th grader interested in playing soccer more at the high school, we will have an informational meeting this Thursday, January 25th, in Mr. Tanaka's room, 2205 in the math wing. And that time is during flex bell. We will meet with the high school boys varsity coach, Coach Whistle, where he will share some summer conditioning and tryout info. If you can't make it to the meeting, please email Coach Tanaka at tanaka at sycamoreschools.org or look in the email on screen. Beta Club members, a few reminders. Your induction ceremony this Friday, January 26th, from 3 to 4 in the cafeteria. Please arrange to have a ride home at 4. If you're unable to attend, noti notify Ms. Darbyshire and Ms. Dorkin by posting a comment in the Beta Club Google Classroom. Also, stay updated on volunteer opportunities as they are posted on the Google Classroom. Again, that is 3.20 p.m. to 4 in the cafeteria. First Robotics, Robotics team, check your email this week and next week for the competition info. We will have meetings all week after school in Ms. Jarvis' room. Sign up, to, sign up and check the team schedule and email us if you want to know because we will depend on you. Over to our crew for birthdays. Hi, Jack here with another breaking news announcement from our media center. The Cincinnati Public School is coming to Sycamore Junior High. Make sure to bring your public library cards on Thursday so you can check out something new and exciting. There will be near the cafeteria media center so you can check them out at lunch. That's this Thursday the 25th. See you there. Birthdays. Happy birthday to Javier M, Sadie E, and Meyer L. Have a wonderful day celebrating your special day. Thanks. That's all I have. Back to Jameson and we'll be back tomorrow with announcements. We'll see you again tomorrow. Next up, Students of the Week and Athletes of the Week. Mr. Stern here. Uh, I'm very honored to do this week's uh, awards for PBIS. And uh, I'm also thrilled that uh, some of the PBIS recipients are athletes as well. So definitely one thing that we think is really important with our athletes is not only what they do on the court, but what they do in the classroom. And speaking of somebody who does something on the court, I am here with Leah Seal. Uh, Leah has been nominated by Mrs. Huffman. And do you know why you were nominated? Uh, just because I like having my stuff out and I did stuff at the right time. Fantastic. She was nominated for being responsible. And those are great examples of being responsible uh, in the classroom. Some Chick fil A for Leah, and you have your certificate. Congratulations. You. Our next recipient, who is also one of our athletes, is Allie Morrison. Congratulations, Allie. Thank you. Allie was nominated by Miss Huff, and any idea why you think Miss Huff may have nominated you? Um, I would say, like, trying my stuff in on time. Yeah, that's, that's having a, everything out. I think that those are great ways to be to, to be responsible, definitely getting your work done uh, on time and always being prepared in class. You have your certificate and free Chick-fil-A on Thank us. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Our third recipient is Daniel Davis. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Daniel, you were nominated by Mrs. Hunt. Any idea why you think Mrs. Hunt uh, may have nominated you? I'm respectful. I do my work and I have it out. Yeah, those are great examples as well. Uh, and, of course, being respectful is one of our PBIS initiatives as well. Chick-fil-A for you, and congratulations. And lastly, we have Sophia Rapp. Hi, Sophia. Hi. And you were nominated by Mrs. Hurley. Any idea why you think Mrs. Hurley may have nominated you? Um, I guess because, like, I get my work done on time. I 
Yeah. So definitely something that is valued in our society is getting things done on time. So uh, definitely we have some recipients who have taken notice of that and that's going to help them be very successful in high school and anything that they might do after high school. So Sophia, free Chick-fil-A for you and a big congratulations to all of our members of our PBS Rewards of the Week. Congratulations. Good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Mr. Stern here to do this week's Athletes of the Week, and this is a perfect week for doing swimming and diving because you guys had an amazing weekend, is what I've heard. Does that yeah. sound accurate? Um, so the girls uh, are city champions. That means they won the entire tournament um, over at Milford, and the boys finished fourth, which is fantastic. And then overall, when you put the boys and the girls together, you guys were second in the city, if I'm not mistaken. So congratulations to all who uh, took part in the swimming and diving championships over the weekend. So I am sitting here with Michael Teufel, and Michael is a seventh grader who is a member of our swim and dive team. And uh, I'm going to read this, Michael, but some of this is going to sound a little bit out of date because we collect these a week in advance. So they're going to be talking about looking forward to this big meet that you guys have already competed in and already ended up being very successful. So it says, congratulations to this week's swimmer of the week, Michael Teufel. Michael, a seventh grader, has been a dedicated and valuable team member this swim season. Although Michael practices with his club team, it's obvious that he's committed to the sport. He has improved in every meet and has many personal best performances. So what's your favorite um, that you competed? Uh, butterfly. In the butterfly? Yeah. I think that is the most difficult stroke. <laughs> Do you find that to be the most difficult yeah. stroke? Yeah, that is, that is really challenging. This past weekend, so this is going to be two weekends ago, while having been sick and unable to practice all week, Michael dropped two seconds in his 100 backstroke and had solid swims in his other events. We are looking forward to seeing some big time drops this coming weekend in our league championships. So, that's already happened. So, did you drop some time over the weekend? Yeah, I dropped some time. Yeah, fantastic. And which event? Uh, my 100 backstroke again. In, in the 100 backstroke. Fantastic. Uh, we are happy to have them on the team, and congratulations, Michael. So, Michael, your certificate and your write-up, and how about some free Chick-fil-A on us? Congratulations. Thank you. Our second recipient this week is Charlotte Lang. And Charlotte, swimmer or diver? Diver. And how long have you been a diver? Um, I've done it for a while, but I took a break and I did last year. And are you glad that you came back? Yeah. Fantastic. So uh, she is a part of our uh, girls team that was first in the city over the weekend. And it says, the diver of the week goes out to Charlotte Lang. Charlotte is a second year diver who has made great progress this year. She is eager to learn new dives and gives it all uh, at every practice. She is known for being a supportive teammate and encourages others to do their best. Charlotte has conquered her fear of the inward dive. Was that tough? I did it like during the summer. Yeah, fantastic. And has competed uh, all season. Uh, I look forward to seeing Charlotte continue her diving career at the high school level. Congratulations, Charlotte. And this is from Coach Amanda. And will you continue in high school? Yeah, thanks. Fantastic. Big round of applause for Charlotte. Charlotte, you're right up. So that is worthy of the refrigerator your certificate, and enjoy some free Chick-fil-A on us. Hey, this is our last full week of athletics here at the junior high, and <clears throat> except for swimming and diving, everyone will be at home at some point this week. So uh, if you get the opportunity to come, uh, wrestlers are here on Tuesday, boys and girls basketball is here all week, of course, cheerleading and dance as well. So uh, definitely come see, because this is uh, our really our final week as we head into GMC tournament uh, coming up uh, middle to late next week. Have a great day, Sycamore. Thanks, Mr. Stern, and wow, congratulations to all of our athletes and students of the week. Way to represent the school. Now, joke of the day. Why did the coach yell at the vending machine? I don't know. Why? He wanted his quarter back. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Well, that's all we have for today. Enjoy your day. I'll repeat my expectations, and this may be the last time you see me. Go A's!